Welcome to another episode of Sanford Says. My name is Lisa Holder, Communications Officer for the City of Sanford, and today I'm joined by Craig Radzak. Craig Radzak is, was a retired fire chief for the City of Sanford, and he is now our Assistant City Manager. Welcome, Craig. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for having me. So um, this is a kind of like get to know Craig in the aspect of Assistant City Manager, and I'm going to read a quick quick bio on Craig uh, for you to get to know him and then you'll share a few of your ideas and thoughts about 2022 and and your new role as assistant city manager. So Craig M. Radzak joined the city of Sanford in February of 1992 as a firefighter in the city's fire department. After nearly 30 years in the fire department and eight and a half years as the fire chief, Craig became the assistant city manager just recently, January 1st, 2022. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Craig Radzak holds a bachelor's degree in public administration with a minor in health sciences. His higher education includes a master's degree in public administration with a graduate certificate in urban and regional planning from the University of Central Florida. Go Knights! (laughs) Craig Radzak is a full member of the International City County Management Association and the Florida City and County Management Association. So that's a lot of credentials there, a lot of education and experience. Welcome to City Hall, Craig. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Uh, Typically, we call you chief. So now we're all going to have to relearn um, how to we had to ask, say your name. We'll just say Craig. Yeah, I know. And I've been joking <laughs> with people. They say, well, you, you call you Chief or Craig? And I go, well, Craig will work just fine. But right. some of the fire department employees, they said, once you're Chief, you're always Chief. So we're calling you Chief no matter what. And I said, okay. But to the regular employees, I say, you know, if I don't answer Craig right away, just give me some time. Right. But I prefer to be called Craig. Uh, so it's yeah, like, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's spelled the same way. So, and yes, with right. the letter C, <laughs> Craig. So, um, well, what's what's um, th- what's your thoughts for City Hall and the city in general and, and – and uh, being the assistant city manager? Well, first of all, I'm very blessed and fortunate to have this uh, opportunity afforded to me. And I, I've been looking forward, to, you know, it was announced probably about a month and a half ago, in end of November, mid-November. So I got started getting excited and I started getting uh, diving into some meetings with our, um, you know, our now deputy city manager, who's going to be retiring soon, Tom George. So he's been getting me involved and I've been getting up to speed on a lot of the projects that he's been working on and a lot of the issues and challenges that the city has here. So I have a lot of energy, and uh, like this, this is my first week in the uh, in city hall and uh, getting up to speed on stuff. So I'm learning a lot. I go to bed. Uh, I sleep pretty well these days. <laughs> the last couple <laughs> nights because I've been reading a lot, and it's kind of I've kind of related it to like you're in school all day and you're concentrating, you're reading, yeah, and you know you're exhausted from just using the other muscle in your body, your brain, you know, right. from all that. So that's that's what's been going going on this week. So I've been learning a lot, getting up to speed on the issues. But, you know, most importantly, I'm really excited to make a difference in the city. You know? Yeah, and yeah. learning is always a good thing. I don't care oh, what yeah. age you are and what stage of your life. It's so important to continue learning about things, and no one knows everything, right? Oh, that's for sure. And, and you're talking to Tom George, who's been retiring soon. He said, you, you know, I think you really like it because there's you work with a lot of different people. There's a lot of different projects out there, a lot of different um, uh, types of work you'll be doing. And, and I've always kind of been a project person anyway, you know, when right. I— when I joined the fire department, you know, firefighters are mostly task oriented anyway. They give them a task. They like to do it, complete right. it. So I always kind of like to do um, projects where I could see them through completion and see the fruition of that. Yeah. Com- you know, so I've, I, you know, I'm kind of, I really am looking forward to this. I can't even explain that. I'm really excited about this. That's so, great. We're yeah. so glad to have you here. And, you know, if there's ever an emergency at City Hall, you can run down the hallway. And <laughs> That's right. <yeah. laughs> it's, it's very comforting to know <laughs> our assistant city manager is a fi- ex-fire chief. So yeah. um, so what other um, – what ideas do you have? I mean, I know there's several projects that you'll be taking over. But in general, like you said, you're in a learning stage right now. But And, and it's so rewarding, I'm assuming, what you'll be doing, you know, yeah. for the city. Like a couple of the big projects that I've been kind of getting up to speed on is the one Heritage Park, which is the, you know, the big development project that t- takes about three city blocks down there, um, you know, which is now parking now. But when that gets going, um, uh, you know, I'm in the middle of that project. So when that yeah. gets going and f- a concrete or uh, construction fencing goes around there, then we're going to lose some parking spaces in downtown city. So that leads to the next project is trying to 
lease some land for some parking downtown. So I'm kind of doing that project with Mr. George right now. Right. And we're looking at a couple pieces of property in downtown to help with that when the Heritage Park project um, starts completion, then we'll lose that. So we're working on that. So those are two projects is the parking and the Heritage Park. The other one is the Mayfair Golf Course. You know, recently we just uh, hired a management company down to earth, and that's pretty fresh. So I'm getting involved with that. And um, I'm happy to report that I found out that um, the Women's Junior College is going to have a tournament out there in May. That's so that was great. great news for the city. They were going to use another golf course, but it wasn't in the condition that they wanted it to. So now they've turned to Mayfair and asked them that you can do it. So yeah. now we're working on doing some minor improvement. Mayfair looks great, by the, w- by the way, the greens. It's improving every day. And um, so we're working on doing that and getting ready for the tournament and to continue that improvement. So that's been a role. And I'm an avid golfer, too. I was so gonna it's, say it's going to be it's going to be nice to work on that project. And then another big project. And these are the major projects. There's a lot of little things that I've been working on, too. But the marina is in disrepa- disrepair and yeah. and it needs a lot of work. So we um, have, uh, hired a consultant to do the assessment that's been done. So now we just need some monies and kind of fix up the marina and do a master planning of the marina. Um, to see what we want to do with that piece out yeah. there because it's a lot it's a great uh, piece of land for the city and, yeah. and it has a lot of potential so we're working on that master plan and then at the same time we're going to make some repairs to the to the slips and to the um, the docks and everything out there right. so that's another big thing that's in yeah. the works so that'll be coming up in the next uh next month or two yeah i mean those three projects alone will keep you extremely busy yeah. not to mention all the other departments in the city of sanford and having yeah. to juggle that and and you know what's also i bet helpful for you is you probably know every street name in the city of sanford right and, and every location being a from the fire department right. you know yeah. every nick and cranny of the city yeah. and so yeah, after 30 years of um, working in the city, I knew, knew it very well. And, you know, some of the new, because Sanford is growing a lot, so some of the new streets I might be a little rusty. But yeah. um, And then another project I wanted to tell you about was, um, you know, I'm, this is dear and near to my heart because it's the, the fire station. We have a huge need for um, a fire protection out on the southeast portion of the city, south of the airport. So I'm working very closely with the airport. It's going to, uh, the land, we're, gonna look, we're working on a land lease with the airport out there. So we could have about three acres of land out there for a fourth fire station. And then um, when that all comes in, we get the land, then we could work on a design uh, uh, contract with our um, architectural group. And then we can get that going because we're kind of a little behind on that. I think we should have, we've been trying for a year or more to get this now. So I think that's going to be something that's going to be coming up in the next couple months where we get this land yeah. secured and then we could start moving and provide that protection we need out there for yeah. the south of the airport yeah priority because i mean all of that development all those residential homes and um it's critical oh yeah you see all the rooftops station. out on lake mary boulevard east lake mary boulevard there so um it's it's a high need right now for the city yeah i mean yeah. in our city our the city our size we have three fire stations three, that's correct, right now yes. and uh-huh. yeah mm-hmm. and the fire department's been here for over 100 years itself. Oh, yeah, since 1873. Yeah, 18... We've been serving the community for a long time. Yeah. So... We're actually coming up, I think next year we're coming up on 150 year uh, anniversary. So uh, before I left, you know, the fire chief, we were planning for that, you know, doing uh, some promotional stuff because 150 years, I think I looked it up one time. I think the Sanford Fire Department might be the second or third oldest fire department in the state. You know, so that which was pretty cool. It you know, is. It's actually older than the city itself. You yeah. Know, 1873 it was formed before the city was, I think the city was 1877. It, it, I think. Yeah. So um, anyway, so that's kind of exciting for the fire department, um, you know, to have that 150 year up and then the growth they're dealing with and, uh, you know, to put that station down, out there. It's, yeah. Uh, it's important for the community. Now, if you if recall in the, our parade this past Christmas, they had the, the, the historic, well, the antique yeah. fire truck right right they were hauling santa at the end yeah. of the parade yes. and they were cranking the <laughs> is that the what was that like the a, siren the, yeah the, the siren it's, it's hand operated and siren hand now, operated yeah. and yeah it's a 1921 uh american la france and you know uh we a cute little story about it is we um years ago the uh chief went it was out in tennessee at a volunteer fire department well he purchased it from them brought it back to sanford and it was in pretty rough shape so we had the Seminole High School students, the auto mechanic shop, do the body work for it. And in the meantime, one of our retired um, battalion chiefs and others worked on the motor. 
and it's running now. 1921 is running. Yeah. Um, it does have some overheating issues, and trying to get parts for a 1921 American LaFrance is challenging. I think we had to send it up to, or send some parts, the transmission, namely, up to Ohio one time. So, okay. But it's a cool little thing for the parades and for special events yeah. and uh, everything else. So we, we keep it at the public safety complex and the museum there. We have that right in front so everyone yeah. can see it next to the police department's vehicle too. So that's just something that's really cool that gives us, that as a city, a little background and a little yeah. heritage uh, of the city. Yeah, oh, cool. sure. Yeah. yeah, and see, so looking at you, I can't help but talk about the fire department <laughs> and all this stuff, but that'll change down the road yeah, and all. Yeah. But again, I mean, it's wonderful to have you here at City Hall, and your office is on the second floor, um, and I, this is your first week, technically, right? First couple of days yeah, here. Yeah, this is my fourth day, and, um, you know, I, I attended a couple of meetings with you this week, and I introduced myself to the community. I'm looking forward to meeting more community. I've been out in the community a lot since, since fire chief eight and a half years but i'm looking forward to meeting more people you know and yeah. getting to know their issues and challenges and try to address some of those you know because i know um we do have a lot of uh, challenges in front of us in the city but we're working and we're improving every day which is really nice to see the and the last what i've noticed from working with the city the last 30 years the last four or five years we've made great improvements for the city and the, and the growth is here yeah and it's still coming so i, I think it's a oh, good sure. time for me to come in and try to make a difference for yes. some of these uh you know planning and, and growth yeah. management stuff we're having yeah it sounds like great timing for you a great uh, yeah. professional decision and career move for you and again we're we're welcome you here at city hall Craig and <laughs> and um, any anything else you wanted to add? I know it's we just again it is your fourth day here and um, and like you met, and I will say this too you're used to wearing uniforms every day right? Hey, and yeah, so, yeah, I know. Yeah, this is and, a... and Craig is wearing a tie today <laughs> that is not what the navy blue ties or no, black ties it, the fire yeah, department it's actually would. It's a gold tie. It's a you know, nice go gold knights tie. charge on like you said earlier, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> So that's probably a, so you know silly things, but it's it's like and you're in you're in a uniform for thirty years, and now yeah. you're you're changing to to business attire. That's been a change. You right? know, I've been joking with people that you know you don't know how good you got it. You go in the closet and you only have like two or three options. Which uniform shirt am I going to wear today? Well, now yeah. I got to go in the closet and say, uh, "Honey, does this match?" You know, right. I've been joking about that. And interesting, I was telling this story too that I, you know, after you get it, we're creatures of habit. You drive into work and. I'm driving to the fire station. I said, oops, I'm going to City Hall now, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, that, so little, little things like that. After, you know, all those years in the fire department, you get used to things. But this is a, a great opportunity. And then one other thing I want to note that, um, you know, I s mentioned earlier that I was very fortunate. I know a lot of people, a lot of the city employees. So I know uh, uh, being a new employee, trying to get everyone to know people and build relationships, I'm already there. You know, I've right. worked for the city for a long time. And I know who to go to for help, and I know a lot of the city employees. We have great city employees that are very helpful. So that's a lot of yeah. the challenge, and I think it, that's that's going to help me tremendously in my new job where I could, you know, because I've already built this relationship with a lot of the city employees. Yeah, so. of course, certainly, and and the fire chief being part of the executive management team with all of the department directors. That's right. Yeah. Meeting, you know, twice yeah. a month, there that that relationship is there. Yes, right. Yes, and it is. you're it's correct. Good. It would make it a lot easier. Yes, for yeah. transition. Yeah. So it's been great, though. But I've been I'm so excited about it. All right. <laughs> well, we're excited to have you. Here here as I said and um, we'll look forward to you being on the podcast again with more episodes about projects those big 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 projects the yeah, Marina hopefully Heritage we'll have Park. some progress and I could talk more about not just having a weekend but maybe a few months in and I could give you some more updates yeah. right right <laughs> right and so we appreciate you very much taking time out of your very busy day um, to be here and share and have people get to know Craig Radzak as the assistant city manager for the city of Sanford. So good luck. I look forward to working with you even more. And um, thanks so much for being on the show, Craig. All right. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> this yeah. is Lisa Holder, communications officer for the city of Sanford. Thank you for listening to Sanford Says. You can find this podcast wherever you subscribe to your favorite podcast and on the wonderful city website at sanfordfl.gov and our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're also on YouTube. Thanks again for listening. Have a great day. Until next time. Bye. Thank you.